Hi YouTube, if you haven't seen the film Basket Case, it's basically about a man who is born with his twin brother attached to him and eventually he has him surgically removed and he's a lot smaller than he is and he's a sort of grotesque um, kind of creature really and he carries him around in a basket. So for this build I started off by making the basket so I just used cocktail sticks um, for the sort of uprights and then I've just used string uh, to weave the various sections and then I just join it all together. So here you can see the cocktail sticks, you can see how I've weaved the string in between, just um, up and over, up and over and just repeat. Um, and then what I do is just use some uh, wire cutters just to snip off uh, all of the little ends of the cocktail sticks and they kind of ping everywhere and I'm still finding them all over the place. Uh, it's probably a bit dangerous really but <laughs> hopefully I won't stand on one at some point. Um, and then what I do is just coat it all with some PVA glue just to kind of seal it all and basically to stop the string from moving. Um, but yeah that all went quite well. I'll show you the um, sort of finished look of the basket. Um, this is where I started painting it though but you can see the overall shape I finished. Um, yeah, so I've just I wanted it to look as much like a wicker basket as possible. It's not like a an identical uh, basket to the one in the film. I just wanted to have a wicker looking basket. Um, this is quite a small model for me, and I really just wanted to kind of create the impression of the um, the basket and the little creature. Okay, so then after I finished painting the whole basket, I then coated it with PVA glue. You can see here the, the glue is still slightly wet. Um, I used a hairdryer to kind of dry it and then I'm just waiting for it to to dry and all of the white glue will obviously go clear. And this just makes the whole thing look shiny and it looks a lot more just like actual wicker. Um, and yeah, I when it does dry, I end up being really quite pleased with the result. So um, it's a good way to go if you ever want to do anything like this. Coat it with PVA glue. Uh, this is, it's not just um, like kids PVA glue, this is kind of industrial strength PVA glue. So once it's dried, it's really quite um, tough. Okay, and then what I did was took some uh, aluminium foil and I just roughed out a very basic shape. Uh, this just saves me money on modelling clay later on. Um, I use milliput to coat this with. Uh, and milliput, it's not particularly cheap you know so uh you know the the less i can use of it the better okay but that gives me my rough shape it's basically just a blob with two arms and i put the basket next to it just to see what it looks like kind of size wise just to check that he's going to kind of look all right popping out of it uh, and then i'm ready for adding milliput so this was my first stages with the milliput um, milliput's really good because it's basically like a two-part putty, you mould it all together, uh, mix it, you know, and then you put it on and it takes four hours to set rock hard. Um, so you can build up as much as you want, you know, now this is dried, I can come back in and add more detail to it. Um, but this gives me my kind of rough overall shape. Here I've added some more sort of grotesque lumps and things to him uh, and also put his fingers on the fingers i've overdone them they're they're much bigger than they're uh, going to end up being um i use like a dremel drill with a sort of uh, the grinding attachments basically to kind of um grind the fingers down and refine them afterwards but this again this gives me my rough shape of the fingers um, i also added these kind of folds to the edges of him um, obviously he's going to be coming out of the basket so i don't need to show much more than that really okay here you can see i added a much bigger bulge on his head um, and a bit more detail to the kind of face i've added some eyeballs and some teeth and yeah he's just generally looking a lot more <laughs> hideous at this point uh, but i'm much more pleased with how the overall shape of him looks and he looks nice popping out of the basket as well right this is just to show what i ended up doing with the fingers I mean, they're not perfect, but I've I've ground them down quite a bit, so they're a little bit more refined, and I've put little notches, um, basically where the sort of the wrinkles of the knuckles would be. Um, 
yeah it's pretty it is pretty basic but this is a very small model and like i say i just want to get the overall impression of him um so i'm not too fast if i wanted to make him you know as true to the original in the film as possible i probably would have made him um you know at least a sort of foot tall or something like that okay if you've seen any of my other sculpting videos then you'll know that i normally paint my figures either black to start with or a very dark base color um but with this one I decided to paint it this kind of flesh colour all over um, into all of the little gaps and everything and you'll see what I end up doing with this in a second but you can see already by painting it this flesh colour it really starts to look more like the creature in the movie um, so I was really pleased with it already even at this stage um, and I knew it was only going to get better. Okay then I added red to my flesh colour um, and it's a lot darker, the reddish kind of colour. And what I did was really, really watered it down. And then what you do is just um, rub the paintbrush basically almost everywhere. And then you just use some um, kitchen paper just to dab off all the kind of the highlight areas. Um, and that just means that the darker pink kind of colour goes into all of the, you know, the deepest places. Um, so this saved me quite a lot of time actually made it quite a bit quicker doing it this way and uh, again like I'm really pleased with the effect okay and this is how he turned out so I used an even lighter flesh color and I dry brushed into all the highest places uh, just to give him some extra highlights and I've also used white to do his teeth and his eyeballs and then I gave him red irises and black pupils and I've given him white claws or fingernails as well um, in the movie, there are so many kind of slight variations of him, um, and he looks quite different, actually, from one scene to the next. So I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. I think it looks enough like, you know, the one in the movie, just to give the impression of it. Obviously, it helps that he's coming out of a basket. Um, I think a lot of people will realise what he is straight away if they've seen the movie. So, yeah, I'm really pleased. Um check out my other videos of other sculpts and hit subscribe if you want to see more in the future thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video